Yo, if you score on me and you watch that replay, it's done. Don't do I'ma it. I'ma hit you with like a hundred drag backs. I'ma park the bus. We gonna hold the ball all day and have a lovely old time. No cap. I can run the game in sandals. Bow. No long talk, no ramble. Bow. If I score once, it's done. I'ma hold the ball, you won't have fun. Boom, 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 boom. Cash around the back, no shame. Bow. It's more than just a game. Bow. If you promise me elite, I'ma sell my mom's soul today. Bow. Gold one, gold one, all I hit is gold one. All I had is gold one, gold one, and I'm stuck in gold one. All I had is gold one, gold one. I can't hit elite three. You can never see me in elite. No. What is cracking, YouTube? It is your boy One Star Week for the you and now watching another episode. Other broke boy road to glory and we got a lot of things to talk about this episode. It's going to be very eventful. The first thing is, obviously, the weekend league. We will be jumping into the gameplay very shortly. But the next thing we got to talk about is all the repeatable SBCs that they dropped today. They got the PL Premium Upgrade. We got the Premier League Player Upgrade. I've done a bunch of each upgrade. I mean, I think I did seven of the Premier League Premium Upgrade. I did like 10 of the 80 plus Premier League Player pack like i don't even know how to say these goddamn packs um and then i did the the sbc i dropped today for 50k pack and while we did get some good pulls especially from the pl premium upgrades we didn't really get a team of the season we have yet to pack a blue since we packed for fauna and for fauna's cool for fauna's great but we want a rashford okay we want something major something massive a sonaldo um what are we saying da can we can we get something big so um yeah that's that we're gonna open our squad battles rewards now and normally i wouldn't open these on camera but it's team of the season and who knows maybe we pack something massive something big something to write home to the parents about go to rewards which is not that crazy not that exciting but once again these are all chances at packing something massive we're gonna start off with the prime mix players pack what are we saying can we get something hot something nice something spicy Damn, it sucks because it's not going to be a blue. You already know from the jump it's not going to be a blue. But we do get Lacazette, Laka Sweaty, 83 rated. I guess not bad for a Prime Mix Players Pack. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse, actually. Um, none of these silvers are that great. Uh, we do get that bronze from Getafe. Laka Sweaty is selling for about 3k. So nothing really too crazy there. But we got one more pack to open and then we're going to jump into this squad and then the weekend league. So there are more things to talk about. Oh yeah, by the way, guys. By the way. Oh wait. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. What a troll. You see that blue and you think you've gotten the blue. And then and then you have to think to yourself, is it is it a is it the EFL card? This is a Premier League card. But next thing you know, it's actually a Berkey. It's neither. None of the above. <laughs> It is what it is. Um, it, is there anything else in there? No, there isn't. Um, but yeah, I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning of the episode. Today's going to be my last episode until Friday, until Saturday, because I'm going to Cali for the week. I'm not going to be home. I'm not going to be playing FIFA. I'm just going to be taking a break from every single thing and just chilling. So sorry about that in advance. We won't be having any videos once again from Monday to Friday. I arrived back um, in New York at Friday night, so I will be posting again um at the regular schedule starting next weekend so yeah there's that let's jump into the squad and we look at this team like i said it's a very very fun team and I, of course i could have put in a more meta squad i could have used renato in the starting lineup i could have used ronaldo i could have fit this guy in with Kleiber. but at the same time if i'm not using new players every weekend then what's the point um i i get fun from trying new players and this weekend was especially fun because we tried at least like five or six new cards out one of the ones we haven't talked about yet though is going to be this mason mount card and as you guys know i tried vardy for like six games and i knew he wasn't the one so i sold him and i bought this mason mount card and looking at the price i have overpaid a bit because he's dropped i think 100k since then but it is what it is he's five foot ten he has high medium work rates he's right footed with a three star four star combination as you guys see here he has played 22 games for me the majority of which were in the weekend league and he got a good contribution 16 goals and nine assists before going any further if you enjoying the content if you want more content like this do me a big favor 
Hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, as always, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all you guys at home for watching this video. So, when you look at this Mason Mount card, he's gotten a massive upgrade, all right? And um, he's gotten the upgrade to the point where he could play multiple positions. In fact, I'm using him as a right forward in the 4-3-2-1. And at halftime, I switch him to an attacking CM. And I bring Ronaldo on in his position. So he's he's had experience in both roles. And honestly, he's done very well in both roles as well. He has the pace, the shooting, the passing, and dribbling all over 90, which is nice. Physically, he's not a beast with only 72 strength. But he does have 92 aggression and 99 stamina, which are great stats. Defending-wise, he's not amazing. But he does get the job done with the 77 stand tackle, the 70 interceptions. Um, and everything like that. So, um, without further ado, we're gonna jump into the gameplay. I'm gonna let you guys know how this Mason Mount card is, and I'm gonna let you guys know how it in the weekend. Let's go. All right. So, according to Footman, this Mason Mount card is gonna be costing you 295k on the PS4 market. Is he worth it? I would have to say absolutely. I think he's a great, great card, and for the value, especially considering the links that he has, he's amazing. Uh, we're gonna talk about it. starting with his pace. He has 91 pace. And it's a very polarizing stat because he does have the 96 acceleration, but he only has 86 sprint speed. And in game, you definitely notice it, all right? His acceleration coming out of the skill moves, which he only has three star skill moves, but you can still do a heal to heal. And then one fake shot and everything like that. He seems to explode out of these skill moves. At the same time, once he's in behind, sometimes he gets caught up because he only has 86 sprint speed. Overall, though, I think he's very quick, and I gotta give him a 9 out of 10. Next, we'll talk about shooting and it was better than I expected, all right? Comparing him to somebody like Vardy who had 99s in finishing and attack positioning, this guy felt like he was consistently in better positions and at the same time had, had a better finish. And I don't really know why because the stats don't really make sense. But in game, the performance is telling the whole story. His runs were insane. He made great, great runs. He always found his way into the box in great positions, whether he was playing CM, right forward, left forward, or even striker. And his finishing, when he got it on either foot because he has the four-star weak foot, was, was clinical. I have to say he's a very, very clinical finisher of the ball because he has the 93 finishing as well as the 93 shot power. His long shots tested the keeper every single time. And overall, I have to give this guy shooting a 9.25 out of 10. It pleasantly surprised me and it really made him a very valuable card to have no matter which position you play him in. Next, we'll talk about his passing. And this is another thing that adds a little bit of team of the season quality, team of the season sauce to this card. His playmaking ability is very, very nice. He was one of the best playmakers I had on this team. And you already guys know, you guys already know I run a mega squad. He has 95 vision, 95 short passing, and 93 curves. So one twos are his goddamn forte. And his long pass at 87 means that he could do any pass on this game. So you're only limited by your imagination with this card. Overall, this guy's passing is a 9.5. Out of 10. Next we're going to talk about his dribbling. This is a make or break stat for this card because he only has 3 star skills. So he needs to feel very nice on the ball. How was it in game? And honestly, he felt light. He felt very responsive. He felt very easy to maneuver. Left stick dribbling was very nice. L1 and R1 dribbling was very responsive, very snappy. And um, I have to say, um, he felt extremely good on the ball. He actually felt very sticky as well because not only does he have good agility and balance, he doesn't have a big body type. He also has 92 dribbling, 95 ball control with 92 aggression. So even if he gets dispossessed, he's not really getting dispossessed. He's going to get that ball back. His 90 composure means that he makes love to pressure as well. And overall, this guy's dribbling is a 9 out of 10. He's very press resistant if you play him in the midfield. And if you play him up top, he could dribble circles around the defenders as well. Finally, we'll be talking about his defending and physical contributions. And I will say, do not play this guy at CDM. I know there's people at home thinking about it. Don't do it. He's not going to feel great enough going into a challenge. But if you play him in a three-man midfield as a CM, this guy will surprise you with some of the tackles he's able to put in. Um, his aggression at 92 surely helps him win some tackles where otherwise he wouldn't really win it, despite the fact he has 72 strength. He has 99 stamina, which means he can run for days and weeks and months and years. And um, yeah, his stand tackle at 77 is half decent as well. Overall, his defending is a 6 out of 10 and his physical is 8 out of 10. All right, guys, so what's the final verdict on this Mason Mount card? I think for the price, he's a bargain. You have to consider the links he has with the English uh, Chelsea links. Um, and he's a central card. He can link a lot of different positions. And he could play a lot of different positions as well. He could play um, in a three-man midfield. He could play cam. He could play secondary striker. He could play on the wing. He's just a full, a full, well-rounded card. And if you use him further up the pitch, his pressing ability is going to be very, very nice. Overall, I have to give him a 9 out of 10. I thought he was going to be worse when I looked at his face stats. But in-game, he's really a great card. All right, guys. You might be wondering how I did in the weekend league. And unfortunately, 
it was sweaty we had a bad time this weekend we had a bad time today the gameplay was just so glitchy so stupid i was scoring obnoxious goals and so were my opponents and it just it didn't really make for a fun experience it didn't may really make for a rewarding experience but we did secure goal too we got 17 and 10 and last week we were at 17 and 6 so this week was a lot more sweaty but it is what it is uh we're gonna take it on the chin and we're gonna keep it moving and grooving and hopefully next week we can come back stronger after being on vacation and maybe push for gold one all right guys so that's gonna be my episode for today i'll see you guys in uh, about a week once again don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next episode but until then